Hey, what's up, Sleazy? Well, 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 if it isn't the rookie. I hear you spent your first night in the hole. Did you enjoy yourself? I bet you'd like to go back. No, trust me, I wouldn't. Listen, rookie, if I was you, I'd go hide in the deepest, darkest corner of this place and never come out. Listen, my friend, Randall Hicks is no coward. Well, the looks of you is telling me something else. What is that supposed to mean? It means be careful with the sisters. I hear they're kind of pissed at you. In fact, they want your head on the spike. <laughs> just kidding, rookie. No one wants your head. I was just messing with you. But maybe it'd be a good idea to stay away from certain individuals. Uh, thanks. By the way, there's something different about you. Different? What do you mean? Nothing's changed around here. So, I guess you're still good at getting stuff, right? You guessed correctly. What do you need? Well, I need a few things. Mall ears, rookie. What is it? I need some cooking oil, some matches, and some fertilizer. Piece of cake. You'll have them all by tomorrow. Oh, never mind then. I would forgotten all about that detail. Hey, I know what's going on. You've started smoking again, haven't you? Again? I never quit since I came here. And, uh, don't you think that's a disgusting habit? You should try nicotine gum. That's way healthier. It's a good idea, but I don't have any nicotine gum. It's the only thing I can't get, and it's so frustrating. I did quit smoking before I was put in here, but I couldn't deal with the pressure, and I ended up giving in again. Well, this might be a good moment to try quitting. What really bothers me is that I'd actually gotten used to the flavor of that gum. I'd even started liking it. Well, this must be your lucky day, my friend, because I might be able to get you some. Seriously? Sure. You were going to get me a tank, right? So now we're even. A tank? Okay. But you'll have to wait till tomorrow. That's okay. I'm sure you could offer me something in exchange. Yeah, sure. I just remembered I had a dentist appointment. Really? Rather you than me. I'm booked in for a massage. Yeah, right. Huh. Hey, you're new, aren't you? Me? No way! I've been here for a while now. I just prefer not to draw any attention to myself. That makes two of us. I'm Martin, by the way. Hey, Martin. I'm Randall. <laughs> Would you like to see a magic trick, Randall? You're gonna freak out. Um, I don't know. Come on, man! You just have to give me something you don't need anymore, and I'll make it disappear. Why does it have to be something I don't need anymore? Because the magic box will dematerialize it forevermore. That sounds like a pretty stupid magic trick. We won't know for sure until we try, right? Um, I don't have anything I want to get rid of. I always end up growing fond of my garbage. I'm sure you must have some junk you don't need anymore. But anyway, if you don't want to enjoy the power of magic, that's your problem. Okay, then I'm just gonna get out of here. See ya. Hey, come on, wait! Don't be like that! Dude, what the hell do you want? You know, it's just that everybody ignores me. Nobody wants to enjoy my magic. Oh, I guess that's because you're not exactly David Copperfield. Oh, come on! Don't make me beg you! Please, I need to share my gift with the rest of the world! Sure, okay. I just thought of something. Well, what if you give me something in exchange? After all, I'm gonna lose one of my items forever if I let you do your stupid trick. So, you're saying that I have to give you something in exchange for letting you enjoy my amazing magic trick? Are you crazy? Okay, well, I have plenty of stuff to do, so if you'll excuse me. God damn it! Wait! Yes? All right, you win. I just don't know what I have to offer you, my friend. Well, I can make the most out of almost anything. Okay. I'll give you my magic medallion. What do you think? Magic? Why is it magic? Where did you get that from? Well, it was lying around somewhere, and then... It suddenly appeared in my pocket! <laughs> Magic! I think you and I aren't as different as I first thought. You like burying people alive, too? Um, I take that back. So, deal? Alright, when I find something I don't need, I'll bring it to you and you can give me your magic medallion. Better yet, 
you'll be totally amazed by some kick-ass magic trick, and then I'll give you my medallion. Uh, sure. Whatever. By the way, do you know where I can get some oils, some fertilizer, or a bunch of matches? Um, I don't have any of those things. And if I did, I would make them disappear with my box. You know me. Actually, no. But whatever. Anyway, I think you got it wrong, my friend. If you need someone to get you stuff, Sleazy is your man. I know, but I need that stuff like right now, and anything you ask Sleazy for won't be here till tomorrow. And I might never see that. How come? Are you gonna kill yourself or something? No, it's just that... Hey, why the hell am I still talking to you? Because you like me. And you just love magic. Yeah, sure. I gotta go. Okay, but remember, if you ever fancy being dazzled by the mysterious art of illusionism, you know where to find me. So what then? Are you a magician or are you an illusionist? Because it's not the same, you know that, right? I, uh, I think I like illusionist better. Okay, illusionist. I'm out. Here you go, buddy. This will do, right? Sure, man. That'll do. Give it to me. Here. Now, I need to focus. The magic box works on magical mental energy. I thought you said you were an illusionist. What do you mean? Well, an illusionist creates illusions. He doesn't use magic. I mean, well, you know. You don't? Look. Do you want to see the trick or not? Sure, I can't wait. Then shut up and let me focus. Sorry. But you just kicked the ball. I saw you. Are you calling me a phony? Well, yes, of course I am. Okay, you got me. What did you expect? Real magic? Uh, it's not that crazy, you know. I'm here because of a magic ring, so... Sure you are. <laughs> Monster. <coughs> hey, what have you heard about me? I'm just the magic box guy. What am I gonna know? Ah, anyway, I saw your stupid magic trick. Now give me that medallion. A deal is a deal. Here. Perfect. Ah, you stupid cat. Will you leave me alone already? Well, here's your nicotine gum, just as promised. Hey, <laughs> awesome. I can offer you a cigarette and a match in exchange, deal? Deal. All right. Here you go, then. A cigarette and a match. Thanks. Here's your gum. Maybe I'll have some more tomorrow. Almost stink as much as some of the people in here. Maybe even a little more. Yeah, maybe not. I think it's just a different kind of smell. Oh, now I get 
it. I'm not about to die. The cat was just following the stench of the dead rat coming off the sponge. I don't need you in my inventory anymore. See ya. but I think I've done a pretty good job. Now for the next step. Well, I hope something grows, but I'm not holding my breath. in there it's that's it get out of here you damn things and don't come back seem to fit in there. Okay, old pal. Let's hope it works this time. Okay, today is the day. Let's go to the field. Ah! I did it! I managed to grow something and the crow didn't need it. Wow! I haven't felt this good since I bought the Godfather box set and it didn't include the third one. This is great! Okay, it's safe to say you passed the test. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be this prison's gardener. Here's the key as promised. Thanks, Murray. Your kind words flatter me. Hey, uh, could I also be in charge of the woman's wing? You better take this seriously, kid. That key brings great responsibility. Don't forget it. I'll make you proud, Murray. I knew it. That horrible stench could only mean one thing. Fertilizer. Okay, I got the fertilizer. Now I think I should focus on getting some phosphorus, and I know exactly where to find it. I just need a little patience. Like I said, in prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. It turns out Randy's favorite hobby was to amass cigarettes and matches, one at a time, day by day. I guess after all he'd been through, Randy decided he'd been here just about long enough. Okay, prisoners, listen up. As you already know, yesterday we welcomed Mr. Randall Hicks to our penitentiary. Nobody knows if he's some kind of tobacco industry mogul or just a guy with a lot of resources. But the thing is that he has several items in his cell that are pretty coveted around here. 
He's been given some privileges because of his status, so don't forget it. And treat him with respect, okay? Thanks for the lecture, Mr. Turnkey. But I reckon the fact we're all standing here keeping watch on Mr. Hicks's cell shows that we already know he's a man who takes care of his friends. Ah, <sighs> well, well, well. Today's the day. I feel it. I've been locked up in here long enough. I can't help feeling a little sad about leaving this place, though. I've grown kind of fond of this filthy little hellhole. Anyway, time to get some work done. Let's check what we have so far. Soap? Check. Phosphorus? I think 400 pounds of matches are more than enough. Cooking oil? Negative. Pink bismuth? No. And fertilizer? Got it already. Well, I guess I need to find a way to get the rest of this stuff. Can't be that hard. 